like, please admit it, we had a week. Yeah, was... yeah, we had a week. We had a week. Oh man, you were broke for, for a few days? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, firstly, um, this is the As Yet Undecided podcast with your conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. Yeah, um... What a week! <laughs> Oh, um, actually, before we do anything else, I need to give a shout out to my father, Dad. Yes. It's his birthday. Yes, it As is. of August the 15th, he is now 55. 55. Still hale and hearty, though. So that means that my father is just older than him. By how much? Oh, by about four months. Four months? Yeah. And you're what, 10 years older than me? Yeah. Gee whiz, your, fa- your father's rather young. <laughs> well, well, well he a, was. He, yeah. He was. Um, Mum and Dad got married at 21 and 19, respectively. Yeah. And I was born just before my mother's 21st birthday. Wow, why the two-year wait? I don't know. <laughs> it, it just took that long to, you know... Do, do the deed, maybe. Properly. Yeah, properly. Um, yeah, we have to talk about the previous podcast first. Why? Be- because I have treats. Oh, yes. Um, I went to uh, the, the nutrition store that I usually go to that um, because I do my research. Queen Street. Or was it too expensive that one? Yeah, that was too expensive that one. So I went to Victoria Street, mm. and and I have to admit, the um, the woman that served me, the only one that was there, was very physically attractive. Is she on Tinder? No. Is she already taken? I don't know, but I bet she has numerous offers hourly. <laughs> Furthermore, she's good advertising for their products, right? Well, yes, um, because most nutrition companies usually give samples to their outlets. Yes. So when I I brought my casein, I got some samples. Okay. That I'm going to tell Sophie about. Liquid cheese samples. Yeah. Um, um, one thing I did forget to put into the podcast in regards to pre-workout stimulants, and I was telling Sophie this, there are three quintessential um, <sighs> molecules that most pre-workouts either have one or all of them. Coffee. But, but can, can, can you talk about the the chemical names for them, please? Caffeine. Yes. What's the other two? Beta alanine. Yes. And a chemical called AAKG. Oh, yes. Um, so what's a beta blockers for? <laughs> okay. Um, beta blockers is a steroid. You, you, We have to decide on that first. Okay. Uh, yeah. So... What beta blockers are is that they increase the airwaves inside the lungs. Yes. Back in the day, back in the um, early 90s to 2000s, most asthma medications were basically beta blockers. Yeah. Which I had to take them every day. So what is a beta? No, well, it, it, it was blocking the... The chemicals responsible for shrinking the um, the the lungs, the um, capillaries, and all of those airways. Why do the capillaries shrink? Well, it's because of what we breathe in. Air. Yeah, and it's all of the chemicals within that air that slightly shrink or slightly expand. And the bad part about um, asthmatics uh, is is that it reduces the airwaves of the smallest part which is the alveoli so beta blockers block uh, the beta 
from having an influence on the avioli. Okay, so they basically reduce it from shrinking, which is why the athletes used to take it a lot. Yes. So they can get in more air. Yes. Or, or, or if you want to be technical, increase their VO2 max. It oh, is the, yes. It is the maximum amount of volume of... Oxygen. Yes. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, back to the protein powders. So what does the beta do within the protein powder? The beta amyloid. Okay, the beta alanine. Alanine. Because <laughs> we were talking about beta blockers, but that was a good question. Yes. Beta alanine. What it does, it's it's it produces a chemical reaction within the nerve endings. And what does it make the messages go faster or slower? It makes them go faster. Um, if you take too much beta alanine. Yes. Your your body starts to have a numbing effect because it is always hitting the nerve endings. Hey, that sounds a lot like methamphetamine. Yes. Um, and it is, um, and we'll talk about this later on when I give you the first product. Well, so beta and so beta alanine. Thank you. Beta alanine, is it a type of steroid? It is not a type of steroid. It, it, it naturally occurs within the body. So what I want you to do is that I want you to read the ingredients of the proprietary formula. Oh, one more thing. Uh, please listen to a podcast about Nazi drug habits. Yes. For, for more information about methamphetamine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nazi drug habits. I thought I'd never say that. It's by, by saying that all the time now. <laughs> yes. So... Beta alanine, yes. creatine, monohydrolate, L arginine, alpha keto alpha ketoglutarate, alpha ketoglutarate, the asparic acid, L taurine. Hey, there's some ball in here. Yes. In acyl L tyrosine, caffeine, L citrulline malate, L carnitine. Yes. Do, now, let's. W- w- would you like me to explain what they do in your system? Oh, please do. Okay. Which one is? Which one would you like to go first? Why don't we do them in order? Okay. We've already, we, we've already discussed beta alanine, yes. right? How about creatine? Protein, right? Is a type of protein? No, 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 no. Cre- creatine is a naturally occurring molecule that uh, that happens when you digest meat. Oh yes. Right. So um, essentially what it does is that it it's a volume it's a muscle volumizer, a natural v- muscle volumizer. So it makes the individual cells bigger. Yes, and what and how it does how it makes it bigger is that it opens up the muscle fibers so more water yeah. could obtain it. So when you work out and the muscles start to break a little bit, and it's it's able to um, store a lot more glycogen yes. into the muscle. So therefore, your muscles start to expand a little bit faster. Okay. Yes. Obviously, um, a, f- a favourite of bodybuilders. Yes, um, it could, it, it's probably the most influential uh, influential chemical um, that most bodybuild most amateur bodybuilders take because it is naturally occurring, and there are very much no side effects whatsoever. So, how about professional bodybuilders? What do they use? Well, they use a, a, a myriad of steroids. Oh, yes. Um, and and um, I'll explain that later on in the other chemicals. All oh, right. So Alex's things are talking about nutrition in this podcast. I was actually talking, I want to talk about something else, but I don't oh, think no, that's what happened. Well, 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 we can. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, maybe we'll talk about it in the last five minutes because it'll be very funny. Yes. Um, L-arginine. L-arginine is a amino acid. Oh, yes. it, it's natural. It's natural occurring amino acid. So, so breakdown of protein of some sort. Yeah. So anything with an L beside it mm-hmm. 
It is an amino acid. Alpha ketoglutarate. Now, that breaks down to what I was talking about called AAKG. Yes. And what it is, it is a nitric oxide amplifier. So, oh yes, AAAG is one of those things you're talking about, the the big three in bodybuilding, right? Or fitness. No, no, in in regards to pre-workouts. AAKG, I mean, so that's one of the big three. So, you know, what what does nitrous oxide do apart from making you laugh? Well, yeah. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, what, What it does is that it... Continue, Mike. Yeah. What it does, it's... Um, it's essentially a blood thinner, so it makes uh, makes blood circulate through the system a lot faster. What's the What's the difference between NO and aspirin? Does it It does very similar things, but in different ways. Okay, so can you use NO for um, heart attacks after heart attack? Um, maybe. Yeah. Um, it's very. I haven't done any research into that. But, uh, yeah, um, I don't see why not. Hey, guys, we're not a medical podcast. Please don't take this advice as medical advice. Please go see your doctors if you, uh, can, if you, well, suspect that you have any health problems. Yes. Yes. Uh, we're not doctors. We're just a law student and a sociology student. <laughs> we will not be responsible for anyone's stupidity. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, this is hilarious. Um, by the way, by the time we do a Sophie's correction, it'll be far too late. You'll be in your grave. Uh, the aspartic acid. So what that does, it's it magnifies your your testosterone levels. Oh yes. It does this naturally occurring and usually lasts about a week to a week and a half. So there is no detrimental effect to that in the long term. Okay, so how does it do that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, it makes you more manly? Essentially, yes. Uh, it could be a potential alternative to Viagra, but anyway. Yes. Out taurine, another, another amino acid. Yes, and, and that's what, that is mostly occurring... And most energy drinks. And cows. Yes. <laughs> in acetyl tyrosine, again, another long-winded amino acid. Yes. Then we have caffeine. Yes. Coffee. Alcitrulline malate. So this is supposed to be the newest chemical that is being used in most pre-workouts. What does it do? Um, it, it, it essentially helps break down fat alongside um, another chemical called our, uh, called our cartatine. Yes. So it, you, it, it easily uses your fat as an energy source. Oh, good grief. How about alcarnitrate? Wait, melee. It doesn't really work for people who already have low fat content, right? Well, it just uses whatever fat is still remaining. That reminds me of Doctor Who episode. Yes. <laughs> Do you know that Doctor Who episode? The one with the fat? No. Ah, oh. I'll link you guys to some stills or some sort of trailer for that. because. But I do remember watching it. It was part of the David Tennant era. But I can't remember whether, whether it was written by um, Moffat or Davis. But it was a little bit freaky. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Um, how about our carnitine fumarate? M- m- yeah, well, that's the other one that I was talking to you about before. Is that the one with the fat? Yeah. Burns the fat. Uh, beta. F- beta far out phenylethamine HCl. Oh, hydrochloric oh, yes. acid. Does it contain? Does this contain hydrochloric acid? HCl. No, but because it is. Um, that chemical is produced yes. through hydrochloric acid. Right. Okay. So what that chemical does, it is a precursor, and, and, and I love this, I, I, yeah. I, love, I love these precursors, Yeah. to norepinephrine, 
and and morphine. Oh, so it's a pain dollar. Yes. Huh? But, uh, because it, but it increases aggression. Increases aggression. <laughs> Mike, we've we've just got rid of the whole um, warrior gene from Maori. Yeah. And now, <laughs> and now we're onto making you onto get onto some more aggressive things. Like, are we trying to get you to become a stereotypical abusive Maori guy? No. Yeah. Um, hey, um, if you guys remember the warrior gene about how Maori was supposed to be more aggressive because of they had the special gene that makes them more aggressive, turns out um, it was all bad science. The experimentation went horribly. It was horrible. Yay. Yeah. As it turns out, some scientists suck at statistics. Um, okay, so anything else? Oh, vitamin C. Natural and artificial flavours. So it's got Coca-Cola in it. Acid fumate, potassium, silico, so it stays sweet, silicon dioxide, so it stays dry, and it's yellow. Yes. It's it SpongeBob is, yellow. Yes, it is. It is pineapple flavored. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because like, the, like, and then we're talking about why I didn't go to the gym this morning. One, yeah. I do have a swollen finger, and two, I wanted to try that, but. After we were talking about it. Okay. So you go to the gym later? Yes. Now, other things. Uh, the, the, uh, the other things we don't have to worry about because it is just protein powder in a particular way. Why do you like chocolate so much? It was what I was given. Oh. So they assume people like chocolate? Well, I did buy um, chocolate flavoured casing. So they thought you liked chocolate? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. So, in saying that, how was your week, Sophie? <laughs> oh, thank goodness we still have time to talk about my week. Busy. Busy? Yes, very busy. As usual, lots and lots of readings. So I won't bore you with that. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, geez, uh, I feel like it's a Mike-centric podcast, it's, this one. Yeah, I think it has to be. <laughs> um, so, 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 what happened was... Um, it's an epic tale. Sit down, people. <laughs> um, it essentially comes down to um, the procedures that wins have to go through. Yes. Right? So I was not told that my medical had run out. So they thought that Mike suddenly got better. Yes. Like he could see again. That's a complete miracle. He was given sight. <laughs> So it was like because because you don't have the documents to back up. Yes. Um. Therefore, they assume that you're well. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I'm looking at Mike right at this moment. His skin's a bit yellow. His eyes are a bit teary. His eyes are opening up though, and he's balding. So I'm not too sure he's exactly what you call well. Yeah. Um. So I had to get the documentation for that. Yeah. And yeah, went through this morning. Oh, and you got money now. Yes, for the next three months. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> because because like oh, it's because why am I slightly yellow? Jaundice. If I've got jaundice, it sort of makes sense. But um, that means I'm slightly worried. <laughs> also, um, well, the fluorescent light's slightly yellow. And I'm not Chinese. What do you mean you're not Chinese? Well, I'm trying to be racist. Oh. I'm perpetually yellow, so I can't tell whether I've got jaundice or not these days. Yes. One thing that annoys me is that when people say, I'm not... Uh, I'm not... It's X, this, but, but X. Yeah. Well, guess what happens? Um, you get taken down on Tumblr. Yeah, I know, but, like, if it's not related to the other thing, then why say it? Yes. But, I'm not X, but I want to be mean. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. like, like I'm not I'm not sexist, but frozen coke. That's not a valid argument. I know. Mango? Oh, is it dry? Or is well, it proper mango? I say it's... Hey, uh, how, how would you define dry? In terms of, say, my humour, say. Would you say something's dry if it's dry than my humour? Yeah, it's pretty much humorous. Yeah? Yes. It's dry than my humour. must be pretty dry then. Yes. 
Um, and because because I am slightly becoming more and more uh, positive, that means I'm I, I become more and more vocal. I'm losing that. He's texting me more often. Yeah, I know. Um, because there's some things that um I would like to bring up mm. to get Sophie's reaction to. Yes. Okay. If, if, if you are the matchmaker, right? What do you mean, when? No. When? I did try once. Yeah, yeah no, 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 but, but um, yeah, you did try valiantly. Mm. Okay. Yes. I'm just happy that she didn't get deported back to China. <laughs> Let's just end that then. <laughs> okay. If you are the quote matchmaker, yes, are you automatically invited to their wedding? No. No. One, the matchmaker could, could die in the meantime. Number two, the matchmaker could have done a really poor job. Number three, the matchmaker might not like to go to weddings. Yes, but number four, if you pay the, the matchmaker a lot, it's just their job. Okay. So it really depends on the circumstances. Okay. Number five, maybe the matchmaker is someone no one really wants to see ever again. I'm gonna ta- I'm gonna say it's that fifth one. <laughs> yeah. In regards to me. So who's the matchmaker? Me. So no one wants to see you again. Two people don't want to see me again. Who? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna say on the podcast. You've match made people. I match made people. And they're getting married. No. But they are together, and um, they have both blocked me on Facebook. Why? I don't know. I find it funny. I find it weird. It's like, huh, okay, funny. Let's move on with our lives. (laughs) Talk about funny things. Video game merchandise is you'd rather not see. Okay. Video games of what? Video game merchandise you would rather not see. Okay. Okay. Shall we give some context? Yes. Please, Sophie, I've done enough talking. Please, Sophie, explain the context. Last Friday, me and Mike were hanging out, and we were going to buy Dad uh, wrapping paper for his uh, birthday present. And um, we went onto High Street, and one of the shops we decided to stop by was EB Games. Not because they had good wrapping paper, but because we're both geeks and we like games. Mm. So they had a, so EB Games. They sell a wide range of things, such as mugs, pop Funko figures, uh, paperback game guides, which I was really confused about because I thought that would be re- because that thought well. You have the internet, right? If you play, if you play games, you probably have the internet, and as well as a replica Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade from the film. Yes. And I was like, "Hey!" to the shopkeeper, "Hey, can you kill people with these?" And she's like, "What type of shop do you think this is? This." So basically, the Hidden Blade has the deadliness of a butter knife, which means you can still kill people with it. It's just really hard to do. And you can make toast. Yeah. So like, so just get the blade out, get some butter out, butter the toast. Oh, that reminds me of the gift one time of a Wolverine cutting um, salami with his claws. Mm. Yeah. 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 That happened. Yes. And it was actually it was actually pretty funny. Yes. Well, it was pretty funny. And then a few minutes afterwards, I admitted to the shopkeeper that um, the two of us were broke. No, 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 no. You actually said that. That was the first words that you said to the person. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Can I help you? We're broke. <laughs> she said, she said, hello, and you said, we're broke. <laughs> I was like, you... you you are a sphere. <laughs> you are that blunt that you are a sphere. Yes. <laughs> so that got me thinking, like, uh, what type of video game merchandise would you rather not see in real life? Because I'm pretty sure you do not want to see a real life hidden blade. 
Oh. An actual working head of blade, complete with like a German steel. <laughs> they can kill people with. Um. Uh, uh, well, because like we were mostly talking about weapons, and, yeah. and and I was thinking about outside of weapons. Oh, I just thought of one um the other day. Ben needs his bodysuit. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, well, I I talked about um. Super Mario and the mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want people getting bigger. Yeah. Uh, what else? As soon as you hit someone, they shrink. <laughs> oh, no. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> or they lose a life. Yeah. <laughs> so, on that interesting note, shall we end here? Yes. And have some lunch. This has been the As Yet Andy Sided Podcast. With your conflicting hosts, Mike and Sophie! You can watch them rumble on these fol- on the following platforms Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook on a- a- AYU Podcasts. Well, someone has been watching Boxing. <laughs> no, I haven't. Well, 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 you, well you're trying to be one. Um. <laughs> you can contact me on the Manus, T A G M A R U S, on all social platforms. He's the fighter, I'm not. Yeah, I'm clearly the fighter. <laughs> so who does the whole, this get ready to rumble? That's uh, well, I don't know the name, but I know who does the UFC. Oh crap, did we just break copyright? No. Okay, okay. And as for me, your failed UFC announcer, I can be found on Slopey 9709 on virtually all platforms apart from Instagram. Because I still have not contacted Russian Sophie and killed her yet. No, because, because purely because one, you will not you will not be a good announcer. Two, you will not be a very good ring girl. No. And three, you are not rich enough that you see that have a table in front. No. no. <laughs> uh, my ring girl status is indeterminate.